Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go over what SharePoint is. So SharePoint is a web application platform developed and uh, designed by Microsoft to allow you, the employee or employees within your company, to go to one place, a central place to share and access uh, data and to collaborate with uh, each other. So SharePoint is this immense platform and to cover it would take a lot of time. So I'm gonna go over the basics of uh, what you need to know about SharePoint. So I'm gonna show you a SharePoint wheel. So you can see it right now, there are six parts to this wheel. Um, there are um, sites, communities, content, search, insights, and composites. And I'm gonna go over what each of those are briefly so you can get a better idea of just what SharePoint is. So the first part of the SharePoint wheel is sites. So what is this site? Well, it's pretty much what you expected it to be. It's a website. Now the website is in SharePoint and it's a central location or organized central location within SharePoint to allow you to go to this one place to share and access information and collaborate with other people. So you can customize your sites to look and feel how you want them to. And you can create sites for just about anything. For example, here we have our site for demo and we have a site for test. And then we have uh, sites uh, that we can have for our departments like HR and uh, marketing and uh, all these other sites that we want to create. Now, particularly about uh, a site is you can have your SharePoint portal, but you can have your SharePoint sites, your subsites, where your employees can go to have a more central location. For example, if you had a company site and you have HR employees, you would create a HR site. So your HR employees could go to that one site. The next part of the SharePoint wheel is communities. So sites. And SharePoint in general allow you to create communities. So you have employees, you have hundreds of employees, and a lot of times you have employees working different hours and different departments and different cities and states and sometimes in different continents. So SharePoint gives you a place to form communities and to connect with people. It's a place where everyone can go to work together, basically. SharePoint allows you to place all your information and data into these locations. So that's what we that's the next part of the wheel. It's called content. So content is where you can put your data into a site or your SharePoint portal and you can access and share the information information within SharePoint. So your other colleagues, your employees, they all <clears throat> depending on the permission level, they all have access to um, certain uh, documents or certain items in lists, certain libraries. Uh, you can even uh, put videos and photos and PowerPoint presentations into uh, your SharePoint sites. So all of this allows you to um, access uh, and uh, collaborate uh, with uh, uh, data and uh, documents and videos and uh, pretty much whatever you want. Uh, Microsoft Office is heavily integrated with SharePoint so you can have uh, Excel files that you can use. So SharePoint allows you to put your content in a place where it can be easily accessed by other employees. Now it depends if you have permission to access certain documents or sites or lists or libraries. And if you do, then great. If not, you can also uh, create a very secure system. The next part is uh, uh, search. So there's a lot of data when it comes to SharePoint and it's made so that way you can share lots of data. And if you have a lot of data and if you have immense data, you need an easy way to look for it. And SharePoint offers search. So for example, we have search here. So you can search for people, you can search for information, you can search for content. So there are a lot of things that you can uh, search for and it just makes it easier for you to not have to go through different lists or libraries or have to search through SharePoint to look for these things. Um, the next part is uh, insights. So insights is you have all this data and you need to make decisions. So if you need to make a decision, your manager, your higher up, you need a place to go to see how well your products are doing, how well your projects are coming along, um, where there are deadlines uh, coming up, um, how many views you might have on a particular site or, or a product or 
or how many people are doing their jobs um, to do that you need data so this data you can create basically dashboards in your sites and create cha um, uh, charts and graphs and you can create uh, lots of these visual representations for example we have a uh, our company leave calendar here on our right and that's uh that's a this is our dashboard here we have our list on our left where it gives you all your items within the list this is our leave request list and then on the right we have our leave company calendar so you can create dashboards that have charts and graphs and it basically makes it easier for you to make decisions even if it's a financial decision if it's a business decision um, these graphs uh, can be made through sharepoint just to make that uh, simpler for you. Uh, the last part is uh, composites. So composites, um, uh, basically you can customize your SharePoint portal or your sites uh, uh, pretty much uh, however you want it to. And a lot of times you don't need to know code. If you don't do know code, it's even better. So you can use uh, SharePoint Designer or Visio to uh, customize about just about anything you want. and. Um, that's basically what SharePoint is. So it's a place where you can go to, it's a central location for you to allow your employees or if you're your employees, you can connect with other, other people within your company. You can share information, you can search for information or people, you can create graphs and charts and reports and dashboards to understand data and you can customize what you want to within your SharePoint portal to uh, make uh, the look and feel the way you want it to. And uh, all of this is uh, pretty much browser based. So you can see I have my uh, URL link here and everything is uh, straight through your browser. So if you have Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, you can go onto your SharePoint portal and start working from there. So that's what SharePoint is. And that's just the basics of what SharePoint can give you and does for you or allow you to do. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, look forward to my other tutorials. Thanks guys.